Hi everyone, in this section we're going to be doing a deep dive into market data endpoints for accessing real-time and historical market data using Polygon.io and the Python programming language. If you've been following along with our previous video, you should have the Polygon.io library installed and already have a free API key set up. If not, make sure you check out the Getting Started video for more information. I should note that some of the market data endpoints that we're going to cover today require more than a free account, since we'll be accessing real-time data for trades and quotes, along with market data across the entire stock market using snapshots. You can see here on the pricing page that the free plan only supports end-of-day data, as well as it doesn't cover snapshots, so you'll need to have at least the starter plan for accessing some of the stuff that we're going to cover today. All right, so let's jump back to the API documentation and look at these endpoints one by one, figuring out what they do, and then we'll jump over to the console and actually look at some examples. The first endpoint here is aggregate bars. This enables you to get aggregate bars for a given date range using a custom window size. Say for example, you wanted to plot five minute bars for a particular stock. You could do that using this endpoint. The next one is group daily bars. This allows you to see the open high low close for the entire stock market on a given date. The next endpoint is daily open and close, and you can select a given stock on a particular day. You can figure out the previous close for a particular stock. The trades endpoint here is probably one of my favorites in that it allows you to get the trades for a ticker symbol on a given time frame. So say for example, you wanted to get access to the raw trade data that underlines a lot of these aggregates. This is how you do it. We have a last trade endpoint. This gives you the last trade in real time. We have a quotes endpoint. This is the national bid best offer or NBBO for short. This allows you to pull down the raw quote data. We have the last quote for a given symbol. Then we have these market wide snapshot endpoints. So you can get up to date market data across the entire stock market with just one API call. There's gainers and losers. So if you want to get the top 20 gainers or the top 20 losers, you can use this snapshot endpoint. And you can also snapshot just a single stock ticker. Then there's technical indicators, a simple moving average, an exponential moving average, a moving average for a convergence divergence, and a relative strength index. All right, so let's jump over to the console and take a look at some of these examples and see how they work with Python. I've cloned the Python client library repository, and there's a bunch of code snippets in here to get started. First, let's check out the stock aggregate bar example here. So this endpoint will list aggregate bars for a given stock, and it's ideal for charting candlesticks for, you know, open, high, low, close, and volume. We'll follow a pattern that will become quite familiar. We'll import the client library, we'll connect our client, make the request, and then we'll print the results. So let's jump back and actually test this out. So printing the data is fine and all, but most of the time you'll actually want to visualize this data. We have an extended example here, which takes the aggregate data and plots it using high charts. This is a Python script that serves up a web page and it's all self-contained to make it easy to use and see what's happening. So let's run this and then we'll jump over to our web browser and take a look. What's happening here is that behind the scenes, we're pulling down the aggregate bars, then we're serving that up to high charts so that we can see it. Chances are this is something you're interested in too. I found it pretty neat in that you can explore the data, zoom in and out, and select different time frames. All right, so let's jump back to the other demos. Say for example that you wanted to get the latest trade for a specific stock. You can use the last trade function. And you can see the real-time price here. Same thing goes for our latest quote. Snapshots are also really neat in that they cover the entire stock market. So you can see here we're only selecting four stocks, but if you leave it blank here, you can actually pull down real-time data across the entire stock market. You know, if you're using some type of trend following strategy, this might be a really useful resource for getting a sense of how the market is moving over a given time period. There are also technical indicators that you can tweak with your own parameters. Say for example, you wanted to get a simple moving average for Apple. You just need to run this script and you have instant access to indicators based on the current market conditions. These are fairly simple examples, but hopefully they'll get you pointed in the right direction when you're trying to solve your own problems. So thanks for watching, and in the next episode we'll do a deep dive into stock market reference data using Polygon.io 
and Python. So yeah, 